on me Promise that you'll never be lonely What's up guys? It's your girl Brittany B and I'm back once again with another video. So, before I get into this video guys, make sure you guys comment down below R.I.P. Aaliyah. If y'all don't know who she is, go check out her music. Her music is very deep and I love it. I really just fell in love with One in a Million not too long ago within a few weeks ago and I just love it. My favorite songs by her are I Don't Wanna and One in a Million like I just said. Comment down below R.I.P. Aaliyah, I'm going to put it somewhere up here. And comment down below also, what's your favorite song by her? She made a lot of good songs. And Aaliyah, I love you so much, girl. Your music touch, touches me right here in my heart. Like, I really love it. your song so much. Rest in peace, Angel. I love you so much. Mwah. So, today's topic is about life. I ain't got nothing to say much about life because life is just life like life is pretty stressful yes it is it's really stressful because basically the thing about life is you gotta make some things out of it like in a way of working hard being successful and all that stuff so On the most part, I really do cherish my life, and I take it very seriously. Because not, I'm 19 right now, going on 20 in three more months, and not a lot of people make it past 19. Really, like some people don't make it past 19. To those of y'all who lost y'all brothers or sisters at 19. I'm sorry y'all. I'm really sorry. Or best friends too. Or any other relative y'all lost at 19 and never made it past like 20 or something like that. R.I.P. to them. Whew. So this is going to be a really touchy topic for me. Because I didn't lose anybody at 19 or nothing like that. Like because thank God I didn't lose anybody. Because if I would have lost one of my brothers at 19, I don't know what I would be doing right now. I wouldn't even be making a channel, period. Like, I just wouldn't have the mentality to face people with hate comments. Like, I just won't have the mentality to, like, wrap my mind around the fact that my brothers are dead at 19. So, just cherish your life and just thank God every freaking day that you're still living because you don't know what could have possibly happened to you you could have faced a life or death si life and death situation yeah life or death situation or something like that and you could have almost died at my age right now I'm 19 so you could have easily faced almost death or your life would have flashed right in front of your eyes and um because, believe me, I have friends that lived in Florida that have been killed. I have one friend that was killed in Jacksonville. His name was Trayvon Bullard. Something like that. Yeah, Trayvon Bullard. Like, me and him went to middle school and high school together. And he was, I ain't gonna lie to you, he was pretty annoying when I first met him. But after a while, we just been cool. Because when I, when I was scrolling through was going through Facebook one day and I saw his picture and it says he's been shot and killed and I'm thinking this can't be real this really can't be real because he went to my middle school I went to we went to middle school together and high school together like we've been cool friends ever since like now he's dead and my heart was just like wow wow What I'm trying to say is that don't get yourself involved in dangerous situations that 
you can't easily get out of. Yeah, because there's a riddle. What is the one easy thing you can get into, but you can't get out of? And that is trouble. That's right, that's trouble. Like, don't put yourself on, line, on the line over some petty stuff. Like, if your friends tell you, like, hey, let's go do this, this, and this, and this, and then you're easily persuaded into that situation, and they see, you know, like, cop cars surrounding y'all and all that stuff, like, get out of the car and all that stuff, like, don't put yourself in that situation. You could have just said, nah, I'm good, and move on. Like, don't take life as a joke, because life is not a freaking joke. Like, really, it's not. And, um, just don't play around with your life, but don't play around. Take everything seriously. Like, take your life seriously, take your parents seriously, your step-parents, whoever's your guardian. Like, listen to what they're telling you. Because I be talking to my dad about, like, personal stuff. Like, really. About college and hanging with certain people and all that stuff. Like, he was basically telling me education is the key. It really is. Boys will come later. Even though I got a boyfriend right now. But I'm focused on getting into college and um, graduating, having... Like, getting married, have kids, and all that stuff. Because I really want that typical, normal life. So, um... That's all I can pretty much tell y'all right now. Like, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. My social will be in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys really soon. Mwah! They call me, promise that you'll never be lonely